GameStop again. GameStop, AMC, and other meme stocks are taking off again. It's not the first time and it won't be the last. So here are five key investment lessons for investing in meme stocks. Lesson one, fear and greed often lead to bad investment decisions. Meme stocks are an extreme example of the greed side, AKA FOMO. You can invest in them, but if you do, the way to be successful is to not be greedy. This is much easier said than done. This is a stock market chart from the first time that GameStop took off in 2021. The red and green bars at the bottom represent the volume or amount of shares traded with green meaning mostly buying activity and red meaning mostly selling activity. Look closely at when people bought. A few people got in at the beginning, but the biggest spike was basically right at the top. Then it quickly crashed from about $80 a share to about 10. Most people sold between 20 and 10. Then it rocketed back up to the 60s. And again, some people got in early, but a lot bought closer to the top. It never reached the prior high that a lot of people were hoping for. And then gradually lost over 80% of its value over the next four years. Every meme stock is different, but in many ways, they're all the same. The vast majority of people will lose money because they let greed and FOMO take over their decisions. If you really wanna invest, Lessons two through four can help you increase your chances of making money. Lesson two, don't invest more than you're willing to lose. Why not invest more than you're willing to lose? This should be obvious, but it's because no one knows where the top will be. Lesson three, don't be greedy. Odds are you're not gonna buy in right at the top and you'll be up at some point, but greed is what takes people from winning to losing. You'll always be able to watch a video of someone saying they have an insight, showing their massive gains or providing hope disguised as analysis. Let's not get it twisted. No one knows where the top is and it's gambling. The thing that basically every meme stock has in common is that the hype eventually dies down. The stock crashes and most people lose money. Don't be one of those people. I already showed you GameStop. Here's AMC. Even after being up a lot today, it's still down more than 99% from its peak. Blackberry, down almost 99% from its peak despite its recent rise. Dogecoin, down over 75% from its peak despite its recent rise. Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't have a chart for this one because they went bankrupt last year. But here's the thing, it's gambling. So lots of people are up at some point when they play blackjack in Vegas, but few people are still up when they walk away from the table. To win, you have to be willing to walk away. So if you wanna walk away a winner, then when you're up 10 or 20 or 30%, be happy and take your winnings. You'll be one of the few people who walks out in the green. And let's be honest, a 20% return in a short time is freaking awesome. Even if someone else makes a thousand percent. Remember, the people who are losing all their money probably aren't making videos about it, but there are a lot more of them. If you make any money, you've beaten almost everyone, so you should feel great about that. Lesson four, use stop orders. Not being greedy is much easier said than done because you probably wouldn't have bought in the first place if you didn't have some serious FOMO. Selling while it's going straight up is gonna be really hard, but stop orders can help you do that without giving up all the upside. I generally hate stop orders, but this is the only time I can think of where they make sense. A stop order is an order that either says if a stock goes up to a certain price, buy it, or if a stock goes down to a certain price, sell it. Why would you ever want to sell at a worse price than you can sell for today? Well, that's why I hate stop orders in general, but in a case where fundamentals are nowhere to be found, you're gambling rather than investing, and a 30% return in a day is totally possible. A stop order can make sense. Setting stop orders can allow you to capture the upside if there are a couple more days where it goes straight up, but then get out when it starts to go down before you experience the massive losses. Will this work out perfectly? Almost certainly not, but it can help you take the emotion out of the decision because it is so hard to sell when it's going straight up. Stop orders can make you feel like you're giving yourself a chance at more upside and then force you to sell before it goes down too much. Personally, I never touch any of these meme stocks, but if I were to do it, that's how I do it. Lesson five, sometimes there are fundamental reasons to invest in a meme stock. This isn't one of them. Back in 2021, a lot of the meme stocks had short interest of over 90% of their stock market value. That means that people had borrowed money to sell short almost as many shares as there were outstanding, hoping to buy them back later at a lower price. Short positions involve borrowing money, and when the stock price goes up, you have to put up more and more money to cover your losses, which are limitless. When people are forced to cover their shorts, they have to buy the stock to do that. That buying activity drives the price up further, causing even more short sellers to have to cover their positions 
causing the stock price to go up even more. And it becomes a self-fueling loop that causes the stock to skyrocket to the moon. Buying the most heavily shorted stocks is definitely risky, but it's a legitimate deep value strategy. So is that the case today, Kyle? No, not at all. Short interest in GameStop was at 24%. Now people are excited because someone called Roaring Kitty posted a meme. Like I said before, you can make money from this, but don't fool yourself. It's gambling, not investing. Personally, I'd never touch any stock that was up 100% because someone posted a meme. But if you want to, hopefully these lessons will come in handy. Best of luck to you.